Hey, what's up everyone? Paul from Grindhouse Funhouse. I just came back from the Montreal premiere of Neil Breen's latest opus, Cade, The Tortured Crossing, which is a, a sequel to 2018's Twisted Pair, where Neil, as you may remember, takes on dual roles of twin brothers Cade and Kale Altair, hybrid artificial intelligence beings or humanoids, here to help out humanity with something. And now in the sequel, where he mostly wanders around a mental hospital to give out powers to patients he kidnaps, I think, and puts in there so they can fight for humanity and justice. And uh, really all of it is just nonsense. K the Tortured Crossing is madness in its purest form. It's like being really high and having many thoughts at the same time and forgetting them all at once and going on to the next thoughts and so on and so on. Neil Breen has a full heart on for green screens now. That's all the locations and production designs we get in the movie. Just a dozen of really sharp PNG pictures of places like a castle or an office downtown, beautiful mountains, forests, and mixed with stock video footage all found on Shutterstock. That must have taken him at least five minutes to save to his hard drive and drop in his editing timeline. As expected, the acting is atrocious, but I'm guessing these actors must have a hell of a lot of fun being in a Neil Breen movie. They have to. I know I would be bragging about being in a Neil Breen movie, and this would be like the top thing at the top of my resume. We're doing the best we can. We're trying. We're trying. That's not good enough. So many scenes just repeat themselves. It's a lot of padding and recycling of the same footage over and over and over. It's like watching a mental breakdown in real time. It's really trippy. There's two great scenes that we can add to the Neil Breen pantheon of great scenes. It involves a white CGI tiger and a dance number that comes out of literally nowhere that are just chef's kiss. Like I said in my thumbnail, this was my first experience watching a complete Neil Breen movie. Before that, I saw them through the guys at Red Letter Media. Follow me. They can't hurt me. You won't get hurt. Follow me. <laughs> he has to be self-aware at this point, right? This that is, is a question that we all cannot answer. This is too much. And their hilarious reviews of them. Clearly, I was not prepared for the real insanity laid before my eyes. It is best to watch with an audience. The one I was part of last night was really into it. There's no real way to review K the Tortured Crossing. Common sense and lodging for this movie goes right out the window. I'm just gonna say, you at least have to try it once. Sitting down and watching a Neil Breen movie in its entirety with an audience that's all in for it is the best cinematic experience you'll ever have. Could be K the Tortured Crossing, could be the other five before it. I'm sure you'd get the same experience regardless. Just pure madness. So those were my thoughts on K the Tortured Crossing. Have I somehow convinced you to go out and see this in a theater? If so, right now, screenings are set up all over the United States and Canada, uh, and a lot of them are in Alamo Drafts House theaters, so do check out your local listings. Also check out all my socials at Great House Fun House. Check back in soon for more reviews of the insane movies from lunatic egoists and their zany vanity projects. Thanks for watching, and I'll say to you, ciao bye for now.